Hi, uh, in this session, I'm going to show you how the retained earnings accounts will be assigned. So here, after you define the account groups, so these account groups is actually for a, a GL account. So once we define the account groups, so you will come to creation of the accounts and before going there and uh, we need to assign a retained earnings account so what is this retained earnings account so the retained earnings account is applicable for a profit and loss accounts so all these profit and loss accounts uh, will be um, uh, summarized the gain or loss uh, will be uh, calculated using this technical account so when you are carrying over the balances for a gain or loss for the P&L and this will be recorded using a retained earnings account so we already we are not created any um, a chart of accounts so uh, we are using um, a standard one which is a INT one yeah so in that we can see here the retained earnings account so the retained earnings account you can see here So I give the chart of accounts and click enter then you can see so here they maintain the X so let's see what is this X for so we don't see anything because we need to define here so let's say go to the account now so I am going to show you this at a chart of accounts level and because we have created only a company code and assigned chart of accounts but all the GLs not yet created for our company code TR03. So what I am going to show you is taking for a while to create a new screen maybe just slash n for fsp0 so then it will open the new screen so once it's open the new screen So here uh, where you can see the GL account. So the GL account, if you see this GL account is actually a balance sheet account. So this is a technical account to uh, carry over the result of a retained earnings account from uh, either expense and income. So this is a, like a technical account when you are posting, uh, when you are carry carrying over the P&L profit or loss for the particular financial year. Thank you.